As technology and human innovation evolve, scientists and archaeologists discover more and more about the world around us. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at interesting discoveries from around the world. A woman's skull was found in Antarctica in 1985. How does an ancient person get to Antarctica from Chile? This question is one of many invoked by a fairly recent Antarctic discovery. In 1985, a woman's skull was found, dating back at least 175 years. The skull not only represents the oldest known human remains discovered in Antarctica, but also hints at the continent's past. Discovered on Yamana Beach at Cape Sheref in Antarctica's southern Shetland Islands, this skull is thought to have belonged to an indigenous Chilean girl in her early 20s. Not much else is known about the skull or what a woman from Chile would have been doing in Antarctica in the first place. But it is significant because similar bones could be contested in the future. As countries scramble to potentially lay claim to Antarctica, similar discoveries could mean the difference between a founded claim and an unfounded one. So why does this discovery matter? In 1998, the Antarctic Treaty was established. This agreement declared that Antarctica was a natural reserve devoted to peace and science and thus could not be claimed by any country as a territory. According to Klaus Dodds, Professor of Geopolitics at Royal Holloway University of London, environmental protection is one of the key headlines of the treaty. However, if Chile can demonstrate that the woman's skull predates any evidence of other countries' claims in Antarctica, it might gain control and ownership of the continent. After all, as we mentioned earlier, the skull comprises the oldest known human remains discovered on the frozen continent. Archaeology has always been important in the world of international politics, but with the Antarctic Treaty expiring around 2048, archaeological evidence to support overlapping claims will be more important than ever. Although archaeological discoveries like this woman's skull carry no legal weight, they can challenge the timeline of the continent's history as well as strengthen the nation's hand in any negotiations. The Mysterious Holes of Peru In Peru, there is a strip of holes, an estimated 5,000 to 6,000 of them, described as man-sized, forming the Band of Holes, or Monte Sierpe, Serpent Mountain in Spanish. Whilst there has been a great deal of speculation into the purpose and creation of these holes, not much is definitively known. Some have suggested they were storage pits built within the Inca Empire, whilst others have theorized they were graves or places to take defense in battle. The band covers a north to south direction, traveling for 1.5 kilometers. These holes range from 50 to 100 centimeters deep and are each around one meter in diameter, a sizing often described as man-sized. Modern researchers have formed many speculations. In 1933, Robert Shippey of National Geographic published a photograph of the area from above. This caught the eye of many, drawing the holes of Peru somewhat into the spotlight. In 1953, Victor Wolfgang von Hagen took over the narration in his writing entitled The Royal Road of the Inca. He called the holes pre-Inca graves, describing the shaking linework to be the curves of a serpent, hence the secondary name Monte Sierpe. On the other hand, the 1984 book The Inca Road System, written by archaeologist John Hislop, describes them as storage possibilities, whilst acknowledging that this is merely speculation. Still, the storage hypothesis, if accurate, would make the Band of Holes one of the Inca Empire's largest storage areas. A more modern suggestion, made in 2015, suggests that the holes could be a form of measurement to record gifts, produce and inventory, particularly those presented as a tribute. These holes could have formed one part of a process that informed official documents. As this idea was formed, archaeologists from UCLA were able to visit the site and capture photographs of the area through the use of a drone. We may never completely determine what these mysterious holes are for, though the more modern explanations are seemingly shifting away from the macabre suggestion of graves. 
Earth has a 27.5 million year heartbeat, but we don't know what causes it. Mother Earth is a mysterious force to be reckoned with. As much as we love to honor ourselves as a great species, we have only existed for a tiny portion of the Earth's current lifespan. There is a reason why ancient pagan societies all over the classical world viewed our beloved planet as a maternal force of divinity. It provides for us, gives us food and resources we can use for our survival and leisure. Whereas in the past our ancestors revered the elements and the power they had over them in fear and fascination, we have taken a stance of control. We like to believe we are in power, but the earth, nature and all chemicals and creatures have existed before we even evolved. Nature has a mind of its own, it does its own thing and cares little for humans. And as it turns out, the earth has a heartbeat and a pulse which has existed for about 260 million years. Currently, there is a lack of explanation as to why this is, but a research team from the University of New York has been carrying out the study with Michael Rapino, a geologist, as the team's leader. This heartbeat is not the kind we are accustomed to. Rather, it is a title given to recurring clusters of phenomena and events. Events such as mass extinction, where major life forms on Earth perish. Past mass extinctions have occurred simultaneously with the Earth's pulse. Generally, whenever there is one major catastrophe happening, it is followed by other minor disasters, volcanic eruptions, fluctuating sea levels, magma spewing from the Earth's crust, among other things. The study concluded that this heartbeat and pulse has repeated various times in a cycle during the past 260 million years, but there is no scientific reason as to why that is. Scientists are baffled by the cycle's existence. The knowledge that our planet, which provides for us, also harshly punishes us and takes away what she has given is frightful to be sure, but there is no need to worry at the moment as the next predicted pulse is not supposed to occur for another 20 million years. In the last 260 million years, the dinosaurs roamed the Earth, became extinct, the original continent of Pangaea split into seven, and humans evolved into the civilizations we are today, and all through that time, natural disasters have hit harshly and cruelly, often all at once. Every 27.5 million years, the heartbeat repeats, and disastrous consequences repeat in its wake. Rampino addressed the fact that many geologists believe these events are simply random by assuring them that their study found a continuous cycle which occurs, historically, at the same time, too concise to be random. These geologic events are correlated and not random, says Rampino. A never-before-seen type of signal has been detected in the human brain. Researchers have uncovered a previously unknown type of cell signaling that takes place in the human brain. This discovery is exciting because it shows that our brain may be a more powerful unit of measurement than we previously realized. Scientists from Greek and German labs disclosed a process in which all fresh gradual signs were formed independently in the brain's outer cortical cells earlier this year. Individual neurons may be able to conduct logical processes in new ways as a result of this. Neurologists can detect that distinct cell in the cortex are just normal sodium ions. They do this by evaluating the electrical pulse of pieces of tissue dissected during surgery in epilepsy patients and studying their form with a fluorescence microscope. Calcium-mediated dentric stimulation, or CPAP, was triggered by this mix of positively charged ions, resulting in a wave of extraordinary voltage. Computers are frequently likened to the brain, particularly the human brain. The parallel has its limitations, yet at some levels the task is accomplished similarly. Both use the power of voltage to execute numerous activities. Computers are made out of a basic flow of electrons passing through crossings known as transistors. Waves enter and exit channels in neurons that share charged particles like sodium, chloride and potassium. Our nervous system sends out impulses through dentrites. If the action potential is significant enough, it can be transmitted to neighboring neurons, which can either block or transmit the signal. Without a certainty, this is no more complicated than the human central nervous system's dense, wrinkled outer layer, the cortex of the brain. 
The deeper layers 2 and 3 are especially thick and densely packed with branches that execute higher level sensory, cognitive and motor control activities. The tissues of these layers were studied by linking cell lines to an instrument known as somatic dendrite patch clamp, which sent action potentials up and down each neuron while capturing signals. They double-checked the outcomes with a modest number of brain tumor specimens to be sure they were not exclusive to epilepsy patients. More interestingly, they discovered the signal even after administering a sodium channel inhibitor to the cell's tetrodotoxin. Only when the calcium was blocked did everything become silent. Finding calcium-mediated action potentials is intriguing enough. Assessing the behavior of this vulnerable new type of transmission in the cortex, however, yields an unexpected result. But what do you make of these recent findings? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.